Distinguished colleagues and friends, I'm very proud to be welcoming you to this first event of the Planetech community and to thank the Israel Innovation Institute for their organization and for bringing together an impressive list of speakers and supporters. COVID-19 presents us with a singular opportunity. Increasing numbers of world leaders recognize that now is the time for massive investments to combat the existential challenges of climate change, ecosystem degradation, and biodiversity loss. For climate change in particular, this is the last decade in which the world can still act to prevent the catastrophe of extreme temperature rises. Countries which fail to act will soon be left behind. I deeply believe that Israel must not just keep up with the green transformation. We must lead the way. Israel must become the international focal point for climate change technologies. We must lead on three levels, the level of policy, the level of innovation, and the level of international collaboration. On the level of policy, we must not be afraid to set bold goals domestically. I believe that Israel must reach 95% renewable energy by 2050 and an 85% reduction in emissions by that same year. The government resolution and climate legislation I am advancing would create for the first time a whole of government approach to this whole of planet crisis and would require polluters to pay for the true cost of their actions. I'm proud of the fruitful relationship we have developed with many in academia, the private sector, and civil society on the level of policy. However, public-private cooperation will be even more vital on the levels of innovation and international collaboration. That is why Planetech is so important. By supporting open innovation, Planetech can help ensure that a green revolution does not come at the expense of economic growth, but that it is the engine of economic growth that leads to a greener and healthier future and leaves no one behind. We will be building on the expertise and technologies Israel already has and on our tradition of investment in research and development and turn this to solving climate challenges. For example, my ministry continues to invest together with the other government partners in setting up an innovation laboratory and pilot facilities for clean tech startups to help ideas become marketable. Planetech's vision is to function as a massive network of all players in the climate tech ecosystem. By serving as an international hub, just like the Desert Tech, which is dedicated specifically to desert adaptation technologies and is supported by my ministry. So too, Planetech can promote strategic partnerships with the countries of the region, with the developing world and with our friends and allies. Dear friends, I am committed to ensuring that the cooperation we are celebrating and supporting here today will help lead the way through technological creativity to a better and more sustainable future for our countries, our peoples and our planet. Thank you very much.